Hello again, it's Red, little Fade the Beast for you. I'm here on this beautiful weekend with a beverage. And I could tell you what it is, because I'm still up for sponsorship. You hear that, Coke Mountain Dew? You can come get uh, you can come get sponsored on uh, on Feed the Beast. Budweiser, talking to you. I'm open. I'm open for beverage choices here, kids. You've got options. Just let me know. I expect my phone to start ringing any day now. All right. Hey, here's what we got going on. We've got ourselves a little bit of a bonus episode. So uh, we've got uh, just a few things I wanted to go over, kind of show you guys what's been going on. Uh, I've got my pure strains. We've done a little bit of little bit of farming. We've got a little a uh, little in the way of back backlog for bees. Uh, this is. You don't want to see the mistakes. Uh, we've been putting stuff together. I told you we were going to do things with this. Uh, that Rocky is half and half. Cultivated. Common. Mm, working on her. N that one's a common, but it, and that one's cultivated. Those are those are pure strains. So is that one, too. This is on automated. I don't know what I got going on with that Rocky. Uh, but basically, this and this is a very basic automated system. It's bees go in the blue, other stuff comes out the red. You can kind of you can kind of see it here. Let's see if we can. Whoa! Didn't mean to get up quite that high. Bees go in the blue, so it comes pumped out of that gate up into the diamond pipe. Blue, right back into the aviary, alpiary, apiary, apiary, with a P, as in Paul. Yeah, okay. Uh, red will take all the combs and stuff out. That's all one-way iron pipe, and it gets dumped into yonder. Good stuff. Uh, we got our guys still working. Hey, guys! Say hi to the people. Hey there, people! Huh. Just noticed that the wood golems have ten health, and the straw golems have eight. Doesn't make a slice bit of difference. It's just interesting, that's all. All right, first things first. Today, we are going to... Oh, actually, there is something i got to show you first. Something I'm not proud of, but something that needed to happen. See, this is something I did. And it needed to be done because I didn't want to lose out on the opportunity. You're aware of our research room here. It's It's kind of dungeony. Well, <clears throat> we've added a little feature. Say hi to our resident prisoner! Hi, guy! How you doing? I kept him around because he offers 25 emeralds for this page. I would like to get my hands on this page, and I didn't want that villager disappearing on me, so... I, uh, grabbed my portal gun, I <laughs> made this little room, I put a portal in there, and I put a portal back at his base, and I pushed him into it. I'm not saying I feel good doing it, but I did it. And yay, he is without sin who cast the first stone or something along those lines. Also, I've been having some issues with my texture pack. Like, you'll see my Gravitool doesn't show up anymore. Ugh. Been working on that. We'll we'll get it sorted out. Anywho, uh, as soon as I get my hands on 25 emeralds, I'm going to be uh, coming back to visit our guy. And then we're going to set him free. Don't worry, we're not going to keep him forever. Uh, we will set him free. Uh, he's just He's just our living roommate now behind bars. What? Seems legit, doesn't it? Anyway, first things first. Today, we've got some things we want to do. First off, we are going to... Remember I talked about this a while ago? We did the research. And we got our stuff together. We needed to go out and get one of these little fellas. These wither skeleton skulls. Well, I went ahead and did that off camera because... Boy, it's just a joy running around in the nether for an hour or so, spanking everything around to make sure that we can get our skull. Now, we're going to go ahead and make the scythe. And you'll see that I've got 36 levels. We're going to enchant it, too. We're just going to see what happens. Well, let's have some fun with it, right? All right, so, here we go. 
Got to make ourselves the smoky quartz and stuff. I have done none of this ahead of time. I wanted to save it for you guys. I thought that was only fair. All right, so we need smoky quartz, which is coal surrounded by nether quartz, which means do 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 quar. There we go. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be eight. And then we need some. Oh, I got something else. I got to show you too. All right, we're gonna, we got something else. We're gonna show you first. It's important. Oh, I'm so. There's there's a reason that I had you. Some of you, some of the very astute of you, probably noticed already uh, that there was a significant discrepancy in the amount of say iron and wood that you saw in my inventory versus what you saw last time. And it's not because I've done a whole lot of stuff. Rather, I found a way to make everything just that much easier. Watch. We're going to have some fun with this, okay? We are going I'm going to I'm going to show you everything cuz I'm I'm this is I this isn't terribly complex. It's just fun. All right, we're going to take some copper. We're going to take some copper cuz I went out and found a whole bunch of copper ore. We need the all right, get out, get, get out of here, Apple. All right, so I got a whole bunch of copper. And we're going to take some doo -doo 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 gold. We need gold, too, because who doesn't need a little blang? A little blang in our lives, right? A little blang. All right. Remember? Last episode. There were those little, there was that hole I filled up, right? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Where do you think that's going? Hmm. Let's go take a trip, shall we? Hey, by the way, I figured out the tree farm. Yes, I'm an idiot. I figured out what I did wrong. I had the, I had the dirt and the uh, saplings in the wrong spot. I got it now. We're all right. I know, I'm an idiot. All right, anyway. Uh, I had the tree farm off. We're going to go ahead and flip it on. I want you to watch. We got the power that's going in here. Giddy up. Here comes all the stuff coming out of it. Do, 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 do. And it's, it's going this way. Huh. Well, we didn't we didn't have anything down this way. Oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> I went ahead and built... Remember those hoppers up top? They feed into these macerators. These macerators have got these little gates on them, which say redstone off energy pulse, which means pulse all the time. And I've juiced them full of overclockers. I'll be putting more in as soon as I get more power available to the base. You'll see what they're doing. They're pumping uh, the gold dust and the copper dust, and it's going to any number of eight furnaces. Look at this. Do, 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 do. And all these are set on no work pump, because what they do is... Do, do, do. You see how he's creating? Great, great, great. Gold. Now watch, the gold is going to come out of here eventually. See it? See it come down? And you'll see the fast stuff zipping through. That's the farm stuff zipping through on the same pipeline. Oh, I love this. I, I was so thrilled to death about this. Because the farm stuff comes zip right down here, and it continues speed, and it zips into this back chest here. Everything uh, gets set from the macerators down into the furnaces, where it cooks, and it comes down this way. You can see all this stuff being put together. Look at this. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I've spent some time just sitting in here. Because it's kind of fun to watch. All this stuff zipping around. Ah, beverage. It really is. It's it's kind of fun in a way. You get to watch all the ores drop down and start moving around. But then where do they go from here? Again, this is not a, a compact, beautiful design. This is a ridiculous awesome design got them going into a chest watch boop 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 they just disappear you see this thing behind it that my dear friends that is a b a sick import there we go basic import bus what this does is and we'll go this direction because I actually, meow, meow. I actually put in a secret door into my power supply area. I figured that's where a maintenance hatch should be. Oh, I forgot I can't get out that way because I didn't come in that way. That's using your noodle, right? See, that's a uh, security measure. Wait, what the heck are you doing out there? Hmm. 
Must have tried to go somewhere it wasn't supposed to be able to. Anyway, moving on. There was another one. Well, hmm. I hadn't had any problems. Well, whatever. It's fine. It's just a couple anyway. Um, I still like my setup, and I'm keeping it. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. The problem I've run into with running that that you can see. Oh, geez, we're dropping power really fast. We must have we must have run out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep, yep. Power's off. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like to make alarm sounds when power goes out. Uh, something else I learned, too, and this is maybe just me being super ultra ridiculously paranoid. If you put them in just like I did when the machine was on, it does goofy things. It, like, stuff heats up and cools down weird, and I had some issues um, earlier with it. Not in this reactor design, but in, in prior ones. Okay, now see, here's, here's what I want to show you. The reactor's running now. It's going full blast. We're still dropping power a little bit. It's not it's not bad. We are still dropping. When I've got all of these machines running, all these furnaces, the item hoppers, the, the, the mace raiders, the whole routine, when all of that is running, we're dropping power. When it's not running, we're gaining power slightly. Because, again, part of it, too, took up that, uh, that basic import bus. I had to run five pieces of ME cable, so it's eating a little bit more than it was before. Basically, we just added a little bit to it. We really need to get our hands on a... I don't want to call it a replacement power source because I'm not going to replace the nukes. That's just that's that's what this base is going to be founded on. That's what this base is going to believe in. It's going to be running nukes. However, I think we do need to maybe explore some alternate energy. Um... Got a ton of trees. We might look into doing something with biofuel, biogas, and if I can make it ridiculous looking, then I think I probably will go ahead and do it. We're going to flip this off for now, too, because we don't really need any more trees right now, anyway. Um, we got the tree farm built, and that's what I really wanted to do. By the way, mascot chicken, still there. Say hi, mascot chicken. He hasn't left. He's been hanging out there for days. Days on days. I'm not really sure why. I guess that's his home. So, we have chicken. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to visit him every episode, I think. I think Chicken Man deserves... Deserves a little time. A little of our time. Alright, anyway. We had things we were going to do. How do you let me get sidetracked like this? Wither Skeleton Skull, Thaumia Mingots, and Smoky Quartz. Let's do this thing. All right. So, charcoal, and... Ta-da! Oh, you didn't see. I also built a M-E-C terminal. That C is for c -c 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 crafting. This is a great little this is a great little guy. No longer do I have to pull my stuff out of here, duck down, pull my stuff out of here, duck down, pull my stuff out of here, duck down and do the craft. Nope. You can just do it all from right here. Doesn't matter what you're building. I can make oak barricades. I can make planks. I can make whatever I want. It doesn't matter. The point is you can do it all from right here. You know what? Let's do whoa, hey there. Hey there, fingers. Let's uh let's do let's do one for fun. Okay, let's uh, do, 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 do. just just to show you what it can do. Gold. Let's make a diamond. Let's make another diamond. How about a third diamond? You can see it's eating the gold. <laughs> do 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 do. I just make I can make diamonds for days. I got lots of gold. But I don't really need diamonds, so look at that. Doop. I can just I can transmute back and forth. It's great. Ah, oh, it's handy attack. Speaking of which, did I just eat all my diamonds? No, I didn't. Ooh, I got a whole bunch of diamonds I need to do something with too, because I silk touched them. So I got to grind them up, do some work to them. Doesn't matter. That's something we'll do off camera. That's. 
just me remembering I needed to do it. Beverage time. <sighs> Delicious. Let's make us a Reaper Scythe. We've been working on it. All right. Okay, so we got our smoky quartz together. We need our wither skull and our two thaumium ingots. T-H-A-M-U. We need two of these guys. We need a wither skull. Hey there, wither skull. And I think that's it. We just need the three of those. The wither. Oh, and we're going to need the stuff to go in there. So we need mortis, malium, victus. And animus. I happen to know that Soul Sand has the animus. Uh, well, wait, wait. Oh, fiddle foo Oh, wait, that was the stone. That's okay. All right, how much of this did we need? We needed. Okay, hold on there. Thank you. We needed 30 of the animus at one apiece. Okay. Off you go. Now, for the hearts, we can do the, the, the hearts, of course, being the Victus. We need 12 of those. That's six apples. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven. Red. Learn how to count. All right. Next, Malum. We get Malum and Mortis. I believe, I think Bones do. Whoa. I think Bones do. Yes, three of that. Okay, so we needed how much of the bones? 24 bone, 24 at 3 is 8. That's math. Stay in school, kids. Stay in school. All right. And then we needed... We needed the malum. What was evil? Hmm. I actually don't remember what that is. So we're going to go find it. Seems like I should... Brains. It was brains, wasn't it? Yes! Look at that! One, two, three. Because we needed six, right? Yes, we needed six malum. Now we have six... Ooh, wait a minute. That's got two of the... Mm, we want to do our best to make sure we don't put excess flux. Remember, every time you do magic, it throws flux into the air. And I've caught a couple of wisps running around the base, and we don't need to uh, mess with it. By the way, if you're paying attention... Uh, right to the left of the crafting terminal, you'll see the little uh, the little lights on my disk driver lighting up. That's because things are being sent into them. That's the uh, that's the furnaces and macerator working uh, while we're just talking here. It's awesome. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyway, all right. So we're putting in three of these zombie brains so we can kick out six of the skulls, which is two bones. One, two. And that should still give us, because that's going to give us the six malleum, but it's also going to give us the six whatever the skulls are. So that's six skulls plus six times three is eight. Eighteen skulls. That's 24. That's all we needed, right? Let's check it. Yep. Okay. See, that's conservation. We like these things. All right, let's go upstairs. Let's make ourselves a our reaper size. Oh, no wonder we're getting a little bit of weird lag. It's because it's raining cats and dogs out here. Alright. I do kind of feel bad about my guy in there. Uh, okay. So. Oh, I forgot I still had this gold on me. Why am I carrying around gold? Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Alright. We need to... Do, 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 do. Manabra. All right, so we've got everything together here. Let's go ahead and set it up. One, two, three. Whoop. Okay, now it's giving us the Mortis, the Malum, Victus, and Animus. Let's go ahead and start throwing stuff in. Let's hope it all works. Hold on. I, I always like throwing soul sand, to be honest with you. Just seeing the faces. <laughs> this texture pack I love. I do. Alright. <clears throat> Survey says... BOW! Ooh, hold on. Let's get a peek at this. Ooh, yes. Yes, sir. Look at that. I am scared of me. 
in my disco coat, my shades, and my... I'm like a reaper from the 21st century. That's what I'm doing. Love this. All right, let's take our newfound awesomeness. Got 36 levels. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Jackpot! Eh, I can work with that. I can work with that. And now, you know what? Now I want to go punch things. Now I really, really want to go punch things. Just, just because I'm not a violent fella. But I would kind of like to see what it does. Let's go find something to punch. Just real quick. Just real quick. I don't know. You know what? Actually, before we do that, because I don't remember what this thing does, and I don't want to look quite the fool. I already look enough of the fool. Anybody who watched the farm video can tell you that. Oh, jeez. All right, we're going to look this up real quick, because I want to see... Do, 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 do. I know that size is down here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to see what it does. I want to see. I want to read the notes on it. You've studied a malicious knowledge and created a scythe that reaps with pure evil. This scythe pairs with the Thalmium sword in all aspects. However, upon killing a hostile living being... Oh, that's right, it does lifesteal. That's what, that's what it does. Hmm. Also functions as a scythe. I already got chainsaw, but I'll be honest. <laughs> Why use that when I can run around with this bad boy? Arr, it looks so angry, too. I really want to get my Edenic bees together. All right, let's go find. Let's go find. Remember, we got to move away to find mobs. Let's go. It's, it's raining, so there's a decent chance we're gonna find stuff. What in the Sam heck? There's just a random hole in the ocean. Seems legit. Okay. Moving on. I just want to find something to whack. Wait a minute, there's another one. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> Love this thing already. Oh... It does it faster than the uh, chainsaw does, that's for darn sure. Oh, I love this thing. Oh, I love this thing. Look at how fast it moves. And it does like a 3x3 three three area. Wait, why, why can't I hit those? It doesn't give the uh, leaf bundles, whatever, the actual, like, leafy, leafy bits, whatever, when you're done. I guess that's a downside if you wanted to build things out of leaves like I do. Still, this is pretty gosh darn awesome. What is this stuff? I kind of like that. Quarried stone. Huh. It's right next to my base, and I've never run across it. Never managed to, to spot it or run into it. I seriously just want to find one mob to smack with this thing. There's a zombie! Come here. Oh, a spider, too. Boom. <laughs> ah, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this thing. Oh, my goodness. I need to... F oh. There's another jump. <laughs> I need to find unbreaking and put it on this thing immediately. Because oh, okay. Render. Render! Come on, baby! Hold it together! Render, baby! Render! I definitely need to keep this thing together. It's our tree farm. Uh, I definitely want to keep this thing in good working order. Holy moly, it is awesome. Big fan of this. Big fan of the Reaper's Scythe. That knockback's nice. Sharpness 4, yeah. I, we really need to get on breaking on it, and maybe some fire aspect, just because how hilarious is it to set things on fire? The answer is very. Big fan of setting things on fire here at, uh, with uh, with red on feed the beast, big fan of setting things on fire. That's just kind of how we do things. We 
we set things on fire. So, we, ooh, actually, I just noticed I'm a, I'm getting up high enough to where we're gonna be able to do some work here with a bigger reactor soon. So, anyway, that uh, that's that's all right. I'm pretty happy about the way that uh, that uh, I'm pretty happy about the way things are going so far. Got ourselves a big old scythe. I'm pretty happy about this. Thing hits like a truck too. Yow, yow, yow. Anywho, all right. I've showed you everything I wanted to show you. I'll have more later on. For now, if you enjoyed the episode, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a bunch. I do appreciate it, guys. Thanks to everybody for all their suggestions. Colbalize, I'm looking at you. Uh, I do appreciate everything that's been done so far. Keep watching. I'll catch up with you later.